My choice for the best in show is the Beagle. The Beagle! The Beagle. <laughs> A beautiful Beagle named Miss P took best in show honors at the Westminster Kennel Dog Show tonight in New York. The dog from British Columbia defeated six other contenders, including a black standard poodle, an old English sheepdog, and a shih tzu. Miss P is the grandniece of Uno, who won top honors back in 2003. This year's judge was David Merriam, a retired California state judge. The Shih Tzu named Rocket is co-owned by Patty Hearst. The famous heiress has led a fascinating life that included one of the most infamous chapters in California history. KCAL 9's Andrea Fujii is here with more on this story. Andrea. Well, Elsa, Patty Hearst is best known for her brazen abduction and then the joining of her kidnappers. But tonight it was her dog that took center stage. There's been a big kidnapping on the West Coast. The victim is Patricia Hearst. 41 years ago, Patty Hearst made headlines when the 19-year-old granddaughter of newspaper giant William Randolph Hearst was abducted from her San Francisco apartment by the Sibianese Liberation Army, or SLA. Authorities searched for Hearst until she was found, robbing a California bank with the SLA and considered to be an accomplice to their crimes. In 1974, police got a tip that they were holed up in a house in South L.A. The biggest shootout in L.A. history then ensued. But there was no sign of Hearst. She was eventually caught less than two years later in Northern California. She served 21 months in prison. Now at 61, she's a mother of two, a recognized socialite in New York society, and the proud co-owner of Rocket, a shih tzu that won top toy dog at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. And tonight, Rocket was up for best in show. Hearst says she's been involved in the dog show world for 10 years. So even though another pooch won tonight, this may not be the last time one of Hearst's dogs takes center stage. Now, Patty Hearst's robbery conviction was pardoned by then-President Bill Clinton in 2001. Hearst claimed she was brainwashed during her ordeal and was threatened with death if she didn't participate with the SLA. Live in studio, I'm Andrea Fujii, KCAL 9 News.